Hey YouTube, what's up? Thanks for tuning in. My Hobby Plus CR18P Evo Harvest. I got it from Fair RC. Today's release day. I got it in advance. Thanks a lot to Fair RC. And because today's release day, the day I will publish this video, you will probably see a lot, a lot of videos of several YouTubers unboxing, comparing it to the FCX24, comparing it to the Rockwan and the T Hunter without two speed transmission and unboxing and whatnot. And I think that's for me always a bit boring if there are so many videos out about the same topics on the same day. I don't watch them all anymore. However, I did already test it, micro crawler capability test, and the performance of the Evo is awesome. This is the new best performing truck I've tested so far out of the box without modifications. It's even better than the SCX24 Betty, which was the best out of the box truck I have tested so far. Really, really awesome. Watch the video. But I won't do any unboxing now because one more, it's maybe too much. So I thought what I could show you but the performance. I thought let's take a deep look inside again because body clips already removed. Don't really like those because all of us know that they do not come with ball bearings. So I will simply take out the transmission, show you the transmission and open the axles and we will check what ball bearings we will need to exchange against the bushings. Otherwise, it's an awesome truck. It does come with Phillips head screws and mainly here on the shocks. That's really difficult. If you get them out, I highly recommend to use M2 hex screws instead of the Phillips head screws. Here you see the 130 motor, the two-speed transmission super low. That's probably the reason for this awesome performance. And yes, I got it for free from Fair RC. So I will highly recommend this shop, but not because they sent me this truck for free. I did already make a lot of orders from Ferrasi. I'm in European Union and even for us, that's awesome. The small trucks, their customer service, Joe and Stephanie. So I will give you a link in the description, but that's no affiliate link. I can recommend this shop, but you do not have to support me. Support this awesome new shop. It's quite new, a bit more than a year. And now let's start disassembling it and check the axles which are probably the same which are the same as in the CR18 piece and also the central transmission first thing I have to do is to remove the wheels and tires wheels and tires removed you need an M5 hex screw driver for this nut driver as you already know and now I'll remove the axles Therefore, for those ball screws, you will need 1.5 millimeter hex drivers. And then let's go on. Front axle, rear axle removed. For removing those here, you need for the nut small pliers or a 4 millimeter nut driver and a Phillips head screwdriver. And now let's check the gears inside, the portals and the gears in the pumpkin and check if they are nicely greased and if they are metal or plastic. Four Phillips head screws on each portal cover. I'll open it in front of camera. We will see the bushings here. Nice metal gears and bushings and super nicely greased. That's one portal cover of the rear axle and here of the front axle also nicely greased and bushings now i will totally disassemble and we check what bushings those are and what ball bearings we will need and i will open the pumpkins to check the gears inside so i will list all ball bearings needed to exchange the bushings in the end and also in the description here you see the two sets you need for the front portal covers one with a quite strange dimension or with quite strange dimensions 
8mm inner diameter, 12mm outer diameter and 3.5mm width and 3 3mm inner diameter, 6mm outer diameter, 2.5mm width. So you need two of those and for the rear portals you need only four pieces of 3 by 6 by 25 for each portal cover. Front axle, let's open the pumpkin diff cover, check the gears. Nice metal gears, nicely greased, metal greased top. Here the bushings or ball bearings you will need for the pumpkins. You will need again two pieces of 3 by 6 by 2.5 for each axle and two pieces of 5 mm inner diameter, 8 mm outer diameter and 2.5 mm width. So for rear and for front axle. And now let's check the new two-speed transmission, probably the most interesting part for most of you. Before removing the transmission, I removed the servo arms to check the servo gears. Unfortunately, front servo, steering servo, also plastic gears. There's maybe potential for an upgrade. However, it performed really well so far. And also plastic gear in the shifting servo. To remove the central transmission, you have to unplug the motor, of course, and then remove four Phillips head screws. This one here and three on this side. One, two, three, four. So unplugged the motor, removed the four screws and now I should be able to take out the complete transmission and I am and here it is. First thing to notice is that the motor 130 motor 100T is located very low compared to the FCX24 for example but super good for performance of course and that's also the reason if you did already see my test video capability test why the Evo performs better than the CR18 piece without Evo in every test awesome performance and here also Philips head, Philips head, Philips head, Philips head, Philips head, Philips head. Let's go on and I will remove some screws. Four screws to remove the part with the motor. One, two, and three, four. Those are quite long screws. And now the part with the motor comes out. Metal gears, check, super nicely greased. And here sits the motor, the 130 motor, held by two screws, also Phillips head. Those are M2 screws. I think I can see it. Won't remove the motor now. That's not necessary. Brass pinion, 11 tooth, I guess. Confirmed, 11 tooth pinion. And this metal gear can be taken out from this side there's a shaft inside but i will take this cover off first only three three screws more to remove one two three and now let's check the shifting mechanism guys if you are not really familiar with this stuff and i do it too i really highly recommend Okay, this gear has already fallen out to take pictures before totally assembling this stuff. It doesn't go out that way. Will it come out that? That way it will come out. Here we have two bushings. Here we don't have any bushing. And here we have the shifting mechanism. Check it out. So this arm moves, come on, and then it inserts to either first gear or there is the zero speed, so the neutral, or to the second gear. That's the, I saw this first in the Capo Cap 1 transmission. 
works also. So if the arm sits here, this gear will power up the truck and if the arm sits on the other side, the other gear will power it up. It sits that direction. Hmm. Come on, let's take it out. Come on, come on, come on. A lot to take out. Okay, okay, okay. Let's risk it. Take a picture. I will take one too. Come on. Okay, most gears out, not all gears out. And pushing here. Here the shifting arm. That's the counter part. Yes, it is. Correct position. So that's how shifting works. This inserts here or inserts on the other side. Now this one is loose, should be. And I will take out all bushings now and then we can see to know how many bearings and what kind of bearings we need for the transmission. To my surprise there are not a lot of bushings inside. You see this shaft here is even inserted directly into the plastic without any pushing or bearing and I even removed the motor there is no pushing so there are only four pushings which we will have to exchange for ball bearings and those are three of the three millimeter inner diameter six millimeter outer diameter and 2.5 millimeter width and a single one 2 mm inner diameter, 5 mm outer diameter and 2.5 mm width. So I will add now all bearings or bushings we will need to a list and then I will be back again and tell you what you need if you want to exchange all the bushings in the CR18P EVO against bearings. So I counted all the bushings added and I happened to have even all the bearings here in my assortment of ball bearings. If I didn't miscalculate or miss any pushings, but so far I think not. The only strange thing is that there are so few pushings in the central transmission. Then we will need 25 pieces of 3 mm inner diameter, 6 mm outer diameter, 2.5 mm width and 4 pieces of the 5 inner, 8 outer, 2.5 mm width and 2 pieces for the front portal covers of the strange size 8 mm inner diameter, 12 mm outer diameter and 3.5 mm width and only a single one, a tiny one, only one, 2 mm inner diameter, 5 mm outer diameter and 2.5 mm width. So that's what you have to buy or get if you want to exchange all bushings against ball bearings in the awesome Hobby Plus CR18P EVO. And I'm still surprised that there are so few bearings, bushings in the central transmission. This truck is awesome and now I have to reassemble it. And of course you want to watch me I assume so let's start. No I'm joking I will do this without camera and again thanks to Ferrasi for sending this truck to me before release date and I really think it's awesome. Awesome performance already in absolute stock configuration fantastic and 
think of some few modifications. For example, the better shocks, the, still the poor plastic shocks, I guess. I have those upgrade shocks in my rock van, the Hobby Plus oil field shocks and tires, wheels, they are okay, but they are of course not super, super good. So think of those brass rims, tires, and then the Evo would even perform better. But as it is now already the best performing out of the box truck I have tested so far. Awesome. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope to see you in the next video. I'll be back.